In almost every project, there will be situations where we want to work with small islands of different languages embedded in our source code. For example, pieces of JavaScript that are written in a PHP string, or portions of HTML in a JavaScript variable, or database queries inside a string. There are many of these situations, and PHP Storm makes it really easy to work with them. Let's see. Have a look at the PHP code shown on screen. In this section here, we're generating an HTML email body in which we are using our PHP variables. It's just a string, right? PHP Storm recognizes the languages we are using in that string and provides things like code completion. Here's an example. We can also navigate by hovering a PHP construct holding Ctrl or Command on Mac OS X and clicking. What's interesting is that we can edit this fragment in a separate editor, as if it were a separate document. This is done by using Alt-Enter and invoking the Edit Fragment intention. See? A separate editor for our string, in which we have full language support as well. Let's add a list at the bottom of our email body using emmet in HTML. A big advantage of these separate editors for language injections is that they will do escaping and such for us. Let's add a hyperlink here. The original document used double quotes, and I'm also using them here. We can clearly see backslashes are being added in the original PHP document, doing the escaping for us. Now let's comment the current code and uncomment this next example I have here. Many developers prefer to concatenate a string to have nicer formatting in the editor. In this case, PHP Storm will not recognize the language used in the concatenated string. However, we can use an intention to hint the language to the IDE, like so, and then choose to edit the fragment. We can work in the language injection editor and have the IDE change the contents in the correct substring above. So let's make a couple of changes. Language injections are really nice when it comes to editing SQL statements in which PHP variables are used. Consider this example here. We're using a function to get a table name and then a variable in the WHERE clause. Editing this fragment, after marking it as MySQL code, lets us edit a query without having to bother with the PHP code in there. The language injections editor will simply gray them out so we can focus on our SQL instead. Here's another example. Let's mark it as a MySQL fragment so we get code completion for our database tables and columns, as well as the PHP variables we may want to inject. Now we can add a WHERE clause in which we filter on the country which is provided in a variable. As you can see, we had completion for SQL as well as for PHP. As a bonus, we can run this query on our current database connection. The IDE will recognize the PHP variable and ask us for a value, so we can run the query. Now that was an easy one. Let's switch to a WordPress project I have. The query here will count the number of posts and pages a user has created. Let's mark it as MySQL first and then edit the fragment. We can see PHP Storm even figures out the WordPress posts table name. If we want to run this query in the console, we only have to specify the ID variable and not the table. Let's run it. Language injections really help speeding up development. Give them a try. More tutorials can be found on our website. Till next time.